obviously always auditioning. You know, it's a lot of stuff you see me in. Forget about that. There's all these other auditions I went on that I didn't get. <laughs> so you know, this, you're just constantly always doing that. But I have my own project that I've been working on for about ten years now. Ten years. It's my Star Wars. Can so what's taking so long? Now? Yeah. Well, what, what's taking so long is technology hadn't caught up yet. And just in the last two years, technology got good and cheap. So that became a motivation for me to really just take it out and you know make it happen. I'm in post or I'm in pre-production right now. So we're we're still building the sets and still getting everything just right, but it's gonna be really interesting. Sets. That sounds good. Sets. <laughs> sets. It's your star wars. Can you please tell us a little bit about the project? Well it's it's about war. Okay and how it's encompassed the world since the beginning of civilization. And I'm going to tell this gigantic epic story using 12-inch action figures. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Oh, my God. Everything's going to be in one six scale. Animatronics, remote control, CGI, oh real explosions, real sets, all kinds of stuff. Um, with, with a really deep storyline, basically answers the question, what is war? Are you working on this by yourself? Well, I, I was working. I was working on this for myself for a very long time. Just in the last two years, I've, I've gotten help. I've gotten a producer to help me out. I've gotten friends to, to jump on board and help me build this town. You know, this nice French town from the 1940s era. You know, and we have to blow it up too. So it's like we have to build it to code. And then so when we blow it up, it blows up like a real building. So it's it's going to be really fun. Sounds fun. Well, I don't have a like a dedicated website for this yet, but there is a group called SouthwestArmorGroup.com, and if you go on there, you'll see it's just a really about a group of guys. They're all me uh, me mechanics and engineers who have decided to build everything in this scale to try and tell a story. Because when you look at it in a camera with the right angle, it it looks like it's a real thing, but you can't tell it's small or it's fake. Well, get so, a Facebook page going for it. I will. Come on, get up to date.